Yeah, national defense, uh, weapons guiding systems, uh, drones, uh, F-35 fighters, uh, all of it contains rare earth oxide that goes into a permanent magnet. And uh, those are end customers that UCOR is in discussing with now and building its first plant. Talking rare earth here with UCOR and Pat today, and we have some interesting news coming out of China today, banning the export of rare earth processing technology. Yeah, very much. Um, you know, it, interesting, China has always banned the export of rare earth uh, ores and oxides. They, the, the, those products are not allowed to be shipped outside of China. But today the news was the actual technology for separating the rare earth ore into individual rare earth oxides. That technology is being banned. That means any thought of a joint venture happening outside of China, you, you know, it just will not happen. That tech is not allowed to move and go anywhere. You know, from the UCOR vantage point, uh, we have a rapid SX technology. We have a demonstration plant in Kingston. And just this morning, we announced that we're now, uh, we've gone through a complete commissioning phase. That means we've turned all the, the dials and we've got all the, uh, the PLCs uh, in place. We've got the pumps uh, and, and pump sensors all lined up the way they should be. We've run two feedstocks already and now we're running a third feedstock. And that third feedstock is actually a heavy rare earth. And put this in context, 99.9% .9 of heavy rare earth separation happens in China. And there is no heavy earth separation outside of China. And you will not make a permanent magnet unless you have heavier earth. UCOR has currently just started uh, running on a commissioned Rapid SX uh, commercial plant. We're running heavy earth in Kingston, Ontario, Canada right now. Right in the face of the news that China is now banning the ability to separate out rare earth oxides, that tech that goes with it. So quite a significant development. Uh, we've seen China gather up resources around the world and bring them home for their own use. And now the technology to actually separate those resources into usable elements is being banned. So quite significant. Pat, and what a coincidence. Reuters breaking the news on the China ban today. And you also having some news that you commissioned your plant. Yeah, it was very coincidental. You know, the, uh, we, we announced that we had commissioned our plant. Uh, we've been working on it for several months, getting it all dialed in and uh, getting all the PLCs in place with the sensors in place, the pumps in place. And we just announced this morning that we had completed two runs. And, and actually, we've we've now run uh, over a ton of material in a week, rare earth uh, ore in a week. And we're processing heavy rare earth. And part of this ban with China is to actually not just ban the technology for separating out rare earth oxides individually, but heavy rare earth, 99.9% .9 of that happens in China. So, uh, yeah, UCOR is actually running that for the DOD right now. Uh, the news was very coincidental. We had no idea this announcement was coming out of China, but um, very fortunate for UCOR shareholders today. Definitely very fortunate. And uh, Pat, will we see UCOR rare earth materials in Department of Defense or... Uh, or electric vehicles in the United States uh, anytime soon. Yeah, you know, we uh, our, our commercial demonstration plan in Kingston, the, uh, the end game for that, the business plan, is to actually build a commercial separation plant full scale in Louisiana. And that Louisiana plant, when it's running at 7,500 ton per annum, which is the uh, ramp up, it'll go from 2,000 2, ton to 5,000 ton to 7,500 ton. When it gets to 7,500 ton, that actually equates to 3.8 million electric vehicles of product. Heavy, heavy rare earth and light rare earth, very significant. And um, yeah, national defense, uh, weapons guiding systems, uh, drones, uh, F-35 fighters, uh, all of it contains rare earth oxide that goes into a permanent magnet. And uh, those are end customers that UCOR is in discussing with now and building its first plant in the Western world. And that happens to be on the Gulf Coast of uh, the US. Yeah, and just to share some context here, we do see the trend of reverse globalization about market dominance, about countries trying to use uh, the economic politics to create market leaders. And we see here, not all Chinese companies are dominating, but Pat, overall, China is dominating the EV space. Yeah, very much. You know, the, uh, the, this chart, BYD, is certainly a big one. Uh, but, but, you know, two-thirds, two-thirds, 65%-ish uh, of all electric vehicles are actually manufactured in China. And although you see the Tesla logo there, and Tesla is a, um, an American company, you know, 55% of Tesla vehicles are actually manufactured in China. And that's because the critical minerals that go into making them and the technology like permanent magnets that are used in the electric motors, it's all controlled by China. So China's done a really good job of controlling this market. And again, two thirds of, of every electric vehicle is produced in China. With the bans that were announced uh, today, uh, they'll continue to force electric vehicles to be manufactured in China. Very, a very dangerous situation for the Western world. And that's why UCOR is in a unique position to help break that, uh, that trend that China is using, which is to bring all technology home, all resources home, 
we won't let that happen. Yes, Yukor is definitely in a very interesting position. And for the viewer at home, we have done multiple videos with Yukor in the past, uh, and a couple of them will be releasing uh, shortly. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see those videos with Yukor in the future. And thank you very much for watching.